Hey YouTube, hope you're doing well. Something I don't hear anybody talking about with uh, all this Ebola virus stuff, and you may be looking at this bit, the screen here and be wondering why the hell I'm talking about an anthrax story. But less than six weeks ago, uh, the CDC had this incident with anthrax where it was something like between 70 and 80 employees possibly were exposed to uh, like a live anthrax specimen uh, at the CDC in Atlanta. So my question is, and I'm going to leave links below in the description box. You guys can check it out. I don't have any problem with these missionaries going over there and putting their own lives at risk. I have the utmost respect for these individuals. The thing is, is they know the risk when they go over there to help these folks. And my feeling is that if they get the, uh, in any kind of infectious disease or anything uh, abroad, bring the medicine to them. Why risk millions of people's lives and bring them to Atlanta, Georgia at the CDC? Especially when just six weeks prior, uh, they had an incident, uh, and you can read about it in this link, and one of the, um, I believe there's three labs down there, one of the lab uh, directors resigned, as he should have, uh, or been fired or whatever, but, you know, he resigned, and it looks like protocol's not followed. So now we have the Ebola virus in the CDC, uh, you know, in Atlanta. Uh, or at least, you know, t two folks down there. And what if protocols not followed there? Then what? Then if 70 or 80 employees are exposed and go home and this thing has an intubation period of, what, 7 to 20 days or something. So how many people can get infected then? This isn't, I'm not trying to put a fear-mongering uh, video together, and I may even put that in the title. Um, I've seen a lot of videos on this Ebola stuff, but of course, you know, they're, they're changing, uh, some things around, uh, but all this happened, uh, June 5th, they didn't even discover it till June 13th, uh, and these samples, uh, were just out there and, uh, you know, it could have been a big issue. Uh, and then, you know, they have employees on antibiotics and things of that nature, which, is great but at the end of the day what if this happens with you know a, a, a disease or uh, something along the lines of a, a virus like the uh, Ebola deal so mistakes can happen people are people are human uh, we make mistakes protocols aren't followed procedures aren't followed um, obviously they're they're working to uh, fix this issue but now uh, we've got some not, not, not that the CDC doesn't have uh, infectious diseases under, uh, you know, in that building. Uh, you know, I'm not just talking about other diseases. A lot of these diseases have cures, and so does anthrax. The problem with anthrax is by the time that you realize you have it, most of the time it's too late. So if you're not proactive about it early, you, you could die from anthrax. I'm not an expert on infectious disease control, guys. I'm just throwing this out there that... Mistakes like this can happen. I don't hear any, I haven't heard anybody talk about this. So I just wanted to bring it to people's attention. I'm going to add a couple other links below. Feel free to check them out. Um, and as always, if you're not into preparedness, you're prepared to fail. Thanks for watching, guys. Can you say bye-bye?